Hey guys, Chef Shea Bear here. This has already been cut into because I forgot to do my intro, but that's okay. This is a cheeseburger casserole. And tonight, I'm going to show you how to make this, and we're going to follow the recipe. This is the first time I've ever made it, too. So we'll do it together. So stay tuned. Okay guys, first thing we're going to do is we're going to brown our ground beef. Now, um, I got the pan, the skillet heating up, but we'll go we'll go over the the ingredients for you. So you're going to need Hello. I've got this online here, so that way I can and I'll also link this um, this recipe for you in the description below if you would like to try it. Um, You'll need uh, a pound of lean ground beef, which uh, they want at least 80%. So um, you're going to want a quarter cup of chopped onions, which we have here. You're going to want a quarter cup of dill pickles, chopped dill pickles. Now you can leave that out, which we're going to go ahead and leave that out this time. but. If you want to do it just like this, if you really like pickles, uh, we like them, but we thought we'd just pass on them this time. But you're going to want a quarter cup of chopped dill pickles, um, a half a cup of water, which we have here. You're going to want a half a cup of ketchup, which we have in here. You're going to want. Whoops. There's a hair on my phone. I don't like that, guys. Okay, you're going to want one tablespoon of yellow mustard, which I put about a tablespoon and a half. Now, again, um, if you're doing this, you, you don't have to go identically to any recipe. Make it how you like it. By the way, I'm already I've already preheated the oven to 375 degrees degrees. Okay. An eighth a teaspoon of pepper. That's not very much, guys. But so I probably got about a teaspoon in there. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. I just kind of guessed. Um, now you're going to need one and a half cups of shredded American cheese, which I have right here. Right here, which, by the way, is six ounces. Now, society. I don't know what teachers or teaching kids or anything but I, I asked the guy first of all I couldn't find any American shredded cheese already shredded you know in a pack of all you know they got the, all the other stuff you know the Mexican blend and all that and uh, Kobe and all that bull crap um, but so I told him you know I said can you shred me some cheese he's like sure I said okay you know I need six ounces of American cheese white American Look, I need six ounces of regular American cheese, all right? And he goes, uh, is that less than a pound? I swear to God, I'm not making this up. Is that less than a pound? Yeah, six ounces less. There's, you know, come on. There's 16 ounces in a pound, right? Whatever. So I said, you know what? Just give me a half a pound. Okay, how much is that? I said eight ounces. He said, that's less than a pound, right? Uh, is 8 less than 16? And he goes, uh, I said, yeah. Yeah, just give me a half a pound. So he shredded and shredded and shredded. He kept checking the scale. If it didn't say one pound on it, he didn't know what it was. He didn't know after that, you know, like zero. Like, so we ended up getting... 0. 0.490 so first of all I didn't even get the six ounces I needed for this and I wanted eight ounces so I didn't even get the six ounces which it would have been 0. 0.600 you know one 1. 1.00 is, is is a pound he didn't know how to read that I got 0. 0.490 so I didn't even get what the recipe calls for that's how stupid people are nowadays. And I mean, when I say kid, this the guy wasn't a kid. He was at least 20, 21 years old, you know. And there was two of them back there, about the same age, and neither one of them knew 
he was kept putting it up there. Is, is that okay? And I was looking at the thing. I said, you know what? Just fucking give it to me. I mean, this took like 10 minutes just to get this. And it's not even what I needed. I don't want to get into it, but, you know, that's that's bullshit. You know, that really, that, that irks me. And then at checkout, I had already went to the truck. At checkout, I guess, well, also, we bought our, this was at Winn-Dixie. We bought our turkey for Thanksgiving, and we got it on sale for 49 cents a pound. Uh, honeysuckle, I think it was. Now, the butter balls, they're on sale, too, for 99 cents a pound. So that's pretty good. But anyway, we got a 15-pound turkey and all this other stuff. The cashier actually asked Monkey, Oh, do you need a bag for, or do you want a bag for this stuff? She said, do you? Yeah, I, I think I want a bag for it. And then when she was ringing this up, she goes, Oh my God, you guys got shredded cheese? Stupid people. I ain't kidding you. This this world is just becoming fucking stupid. And these are the people that want 15, 16, 17 bucks an hour. My ass. You know. Okay, so. And you're going to need one beaten egg. And you're going to need one tablespoon of sesame seeds. And you're also going to need an 8 ounce can of... Pillsbury Refrigerated Crescent Dough Sheet. And this is what it looks like, guys. Okay. Eight ounces, which is half a pound. Okay. Just get the original. You don't want the flake. Okay. Now make sure you get the sheet. Okay. Make sure you, it says sheet on it. Okay. So let me get, so, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to brown. It says here, we got the oven preheating in a 10 inch non non-stick skillet see again I just use whatever skillet you know I want to use it doesn't really matter um, you're going to want to cook the beef and onion over medium to high heat okay five to seven minutes stirring frequently until thoroughly cooked and then you're going to drain it and you're going to stir in the pickles water ketchup mustard and pepper now we'll get to that but right now we're going to go ahead and put our onions I'm going to go ahead and dump them in there. We're going to put our onions in, and I'm going to grab the, the beef, the ground beef, which we we put a, we got a little over a pound. But I'm going to put that in there, and I'm going to brown it, and then uh, I'll come back to you when we're mixing in the other ingredients, okay? So stick around. I'll be right back with you. Okay, now I have drained this the best I can. I've got the heat turned down. Now it says we we add our water, pickles if you're going to have them, ketchup, mustard, and pepper. So we're going to stir this stuff in. Let's put the water in. Let's get our mustard. Now it says for the pan size I've got a lot bigger pan than what we're supposed to have so I don't know how well this is going to turn out guys but we're going to make do right I don't have the right size pan which is an 11 by 7 inch pan now again I do not have an 11 by 7 inch pan I have a bigger um, pan than that. So, I don't know. I should have checked before we went to the store because then I could have made more, but that's okay. We'll we'll make do, right guys? So, we're, I'm going to stir this in here real good, and then we're going to roll, we're going to uh, uh, put the dough on it after we put this in. Now, once you get this all mixed up nice and thorough, then we're going to put it into our glass baking dish which is too big but that's okay look look at this thing I need to hammer those rivets okay I keep saying that every time I cook so All right. so there's that now let me go get our baking dish and we'll put this into the baking dish okay now it says to spoon it in 
but I'm just gonna try to this cast iron skill is heavy see I'm I'm just way too big on this pan guys way too big but it is what it is right it's not I mean there's not much I can do about it I might be able to shorten it up some here I don't know <laughs> This was my fault. I should have made more, but I, I was thinking this was the right size, but I was wrong. So, anyway, you know, here we go. You know, I'm not going to cut this out because this happens. It happens to the best of us. So, now it says to sprinkle with the cheese. Okay, we have our cheese. Is to sprinkle the cheese. Okay, so I'm going to just dump this on and then I'm going to deal with it. Uh, hopefully you guys have the right size pan. It's 11 by 7. This thing's like 12 by 10 or some shit. So, alright. Now... Let me go get our dough, and we're going to put our dough on the top of this. Okay, we have our dough here. Now, I don't know about you guys, but no matter how many times I do this, press spoon at the seam. It still scares me every time, so. But anyway, now, I guess you could use the triangles if that's all you got or if that's all you can get. You know, and just set the triangles on top. You can probably do that. I don't see why you couldn't. But, right? I mean, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and roll this out. to here see that's a lot more than I'm going to need so I'm going to cut some of this off because it will stretch now I'll save that and I'll bake that for something else I don't know what but I'll just throw it in and bake it and then cover it I mean, it's not going to be pretty, right, guys? Like I said, I'm not a chef. But. Okay, so this, this is going to work. Now what we're going to do is we're going to brush this with egg white, or with egg. We have our beaten egg here. It says to brush it. And remember, have your oven ready at 375. Now, the sesame seeds, we're going to put on top. Now, it says one tablespoon, but I'm not going to measure that, guys. I am just going to sprinkle it on. I mean, again, that's that's one of them things that you know it doesn't really matter. 
I think I'm going to um, I think that it's not it's it doesn't you know it's the taste it's it's how you want it want it to taste or whatever so I don't think it has to be perfectly you know it's sesame seeds so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on here just like that why can't we do that okay there's that now again this is not the right pan okay now let's get this into the oven okay we're going to put this into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until a deep golden brown okay it doesn't say to cover it or anything so and we'll set the timer Alexa give me 26 minutes on the timer 26 minutes starting now so it says 25 to 30 so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna say 26 and I'm gonna check it and also by the way guys every time you open up this open up your oven door you lose like 25 degrees on your temperature so if you can you know I'm fortunate enough I can see in there and I can check it that way and see how my food's doing but if you don't yeah, if you don't have to open it, don't open it because then, you know, it has to warm back up and it, it can take longer. It can uh, not bake your food as well. So remember that, guys. So let's let this bake and then we'll see what we can, we what we come up with, okay? Check this out. Does that look yummy or what? Look at that. It looks like a hamburger bun. That little piece here on the side, that's just that leftover dough we had. So, but check that out. Let's get this up here so you can really look at it. Okay, guys, so there's what we've got. It turned out better than I thought it would. I just made that as a rule because it was leftover. I don't like wasting stuff. But, and if you could smell that, it smells so delicious. Let's cut into this and see what it looks like and by the way it, when you put your dough on here it says to spread your dough out and then cut it into six sections but I didn't do that because I just figured you know we just cut what we want and and uh, you know like I said do things the way you want to do them you know I mean really there's no right or wrong way in cooking um, so there mm, look at that can you see that that is nice let me get you down here to where you can get a good look at that that does look good I figured it would spread out and get real bad looking but that's not too bad that turned out pretty good so there you go that is Chef Shea Bear's um, cheeseburger casserole. So there you go, guys. That's that. Um, looks pretty good. Hopefully it tastes good. Hopefully Monkey likes it because she, she sent me the recipe. And um, so, like I said, we'd, we'd try it because she was like, um, you, you know, I said, oh, you're going to make it tonight huh and she said yes unless you want to so I was like is that a hint she said yes because uh, she likes it when I cook so um, we'll get her out here and we'll have her try this and everything and then we'll close it out so hang tight monkey yeah oh there you are hi <laughs> you ready to give it a shot yeah okay I got a piece cut off for you right there this one <laughs> yeah, let's try it. Looks good. Don't that look like a bun? Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Careful, very hot. Yeah. See the steam? Yep. Mm. Oh, 
that's good. Is it? Yeah, I like that. You like it? Mm -hmm. So should they try it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Only with a with a regular size pan. <laughs> yeah, or or you could double it if you want. Or wanted. double it, yeah. yeah. Or just do what I did. If yeah. that's all you got. Yeah. You know, it it turned out fine. Uh-huh. Wish it was thicker, but that's okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a link in the description below to where you can get this recipe and uh, cook it yourself. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I'm going to let Monkey eat and I have to get started or the other video I'm doing. You'll see it. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Chef Shea Bear, the Myth the Man of Legend. I'm gone for now. Monkey says she's up for now. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye, guys. Take Very care. Good.